My favorite way to travel, since I don't have the money to actually go anywhere, is with food. Today we are going to northwestern India in the state of Punjab. And we're going to make some wonderful Punjab vegetarian palak paneer. Although we are using halloumi. So it'll be palak paneer halloumi. Or something like that. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith. Today my plan was to make palak paneer, which is a spinach and paneer curry. When I opened my fridge, I discovered that what I had bought, rather than paneer, was a block of halloumi. I did seriously consider going back to the store to get the paneer, but it's pouring rain outside. So we're going to make palak halloumi. As odd as that sounds, um, I did check, and although paneer and halloumi are not interchangeable, Halloumi can be used, if necessary, in place of the paneer. It's going to change the taste and consistency, taste and texture a little bit, but it should still work fine. So let's get started. Our first step is to boil or steam our spinach. So I have 350 grams of spinach, and I'm going to put them all in the pot with a little bit of water. steamed and then we will put it in the blender and liquefy it. Once your spinach is well and truly wilted, we're going to remove it from the pot into a bowl of ice water. This quick cooling will help it retain its green because that is one thing we actually really want in this dish is the vibrant green color. We're just going to let that cool, and then it's going in the blender with some spices, chilies, and ginger, and garlic. So into our blender goes our spinach, one medium tomato chopped up, and three cloves of garlic, one inch of ginger, and some green chili. If you know me, I don't like food really, really spicy, so add as much chili as you're comfortable with. I only put a few little slices in and we'll check it later and see if maybe it could do with some more. So let's blend this up. I'm going to turn you off so you don't have to listen to me. That is beautiful, smooth, and vibrant green. So we set this aside till later and then it's going in our curry. Okay, time to move on to assembling our dish. We need about a tablespoon of oil in a medium hot pan. Then we're going to add two chopped cloves of garlic. And we're just going to saute them for about 30 seconds or so until the garlic starts to change color. So it might take a little more than 30 seconds depending on the heat of your pan, but do keep a careful eye on it because once garlic starts to burn, you, you got to start over. Move it around every now and then just to make sure some isn't getting more of the heat than the rest. So you don't want, you know, some stoves have hot spots. Okay, we're getting some color there. So now it's time to add an onion, finely chopped onion, or one large onion that is finely chopped. And we just want to saute the onions until they start to turn translucent. This will take two or three minutes. Again, depending on the temperature that you've got your pan at. I tend to cook at a fairly low temperature, so it could take a bit longer than that. Now that our onions are translucent, we are going to add our spinach puree.
We will also add at this point a half a cup of water. Stir everything together. And we're going to cover it and cook it for 10 minutes. Remember to stir every now and then. Just you don't want it to stick to the bottom of your pan. Mine's not sticking. So it seems to be good. And just let that cook for a bit longer. So our spinach has been cooking for about 10 minutes, maybe a little longer. Just take the lid off. Mm, smells yummy. Give it a stir, and I want a taste to see how spicy it is and how salty. Or whether the spinach needs some sugar. Okay, pretty much spicy enough for me. Don't really think we need any sugar. Not looking for sweet here. And not gonna add any salt because the halloumi is salty. If, you're, if I was using paneer, I would probably add some salt. So at this point, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. We're going to add some chili powder, about a quarter teaspoon, turmeric, quarter teaspoon, um, garam masala, teaspoon. Let's stir that in. Now we're going to let that cook for a couple of minutes just to let the flavors meld. And as I said, however hot you like it, add more chili to the spinach. But just taste. Don't go overboard to start with because things can tend to end up too hot. We're just going to turn that down some more. With a thick puree like this, it does not take a lot to keep it bubbling. After two or three minutes, we're going to add... Um, you can add heavy cream, or milk, or yogurt. I have chosen coconut milk, and you only want two or three tablespoons of it. Just to add some creaminess. Stir that in. And the one thing with paneer, as opposed to the halloumi, is paneer will absorb the flavors of your sauce. The halloumi is not going to do that very well. So I'm going to add the halloumi now. Well, you would be adding the paneer now as well. But we're going to cook this a little longer to give it more of a chance to absorb some of the flavors. So that's 225 grams of halloumi. And we'll mix it in well. And the heat's turned down really low. We're just going to let it... and the, the cheese is cold, so. I'm just going to let it cook. And if you were use, using paneer, you would only leave it to cook another couple of minutes. With this, I'm going to give it another 10 to 15, because the halloumi is not going to soak up the flavors as well as the paneer would. Halloumi is a denser cheese. Alright, let's check. We don't want to overcook anything. It's just been bubbling away. Ooh, I think our halloumi has melted in. Which is not what I was intending. But that's okay. It's, there's still chunks. So, at this point... I'm going to turn it off. 
and we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice. And we're going to give it a taste. It's got a little bit of the halloumi in there. Mmm. Mmm. That is actually unbelievably good. A lot spicier than I intended. But with some rice, it's going to go down wonderfully. This is my attempt at palak paneer. Unfortunately, I didn't have paneer, so it's halloumi. But this is absolutely delicious and beautiful and very, very healthy. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. And you'll know when I post a new one. I try to post every Sunday morning at midnight. So we'll see you soon.